Hello. Um, so there has been a lot of stuff. It's been quite eventful around here. Um, the last video that I did w was of me in the hospital. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My ticks are going off a little bit right now. I'm trying to explain the best that I can what happened. Okay, so this is like wow, the second part to the first video five days ago. Um, so on Friday, um, it was the afternoon, late afternoon. It was like wow, roughly like around 5.55 in the afternoon. Um, I was sitting here and I had, I have four kids. So wow, well, I have five kids in total, but the ones that came for me, I have four. So I, wow, I have my oldest, which is 19, my second, which is 17, and the well, one the twins are six years old uh so basically um i was in the bedroom with well with all the kids at one point my 17 year old not the 19 year old he has a job and he was working so was my husband they were both out of the house it was just me my 17 year old and the twin six year olds now one of my twins has and was born with down syndrome as he got older, we found out he had ADHD, OCD, and now he is currently being seen by a neurologist for Tourette's. Um, and I'm not going to skip ahead of myself. I'm going to try to do things in the order that it happened. Okay, so um, this is just a quick rundown about his mental state. So basically, um, you know, my son is... Uh, has sensory issues he has um like hypersensitivity to things as well so uh, you know for him everything is is stimulating basically so whoa wow. so basically um he went ahead and when i was sitting here i had all of them in my room my oldest daughter was looking you know was not even looking after them that we were all kind of watching a movie together um at one point my son and my daughter both left out of the room but his twin sister stayed here so i was in the room with a six-year-old when i saw her leave out the room and with her brother i was like okay she's gonna look after him they're together she already knows his mental um health and she knows that he is very much high maintenance you have to keep a constant eye on him all the time um, if we don't see him, you know, we get up very quickly to see what he's doing. We don't like to, um, you know, have him closed off and punished or anything. He runs around the house and he, he basically does what we, he wants. And we just try to follow with him and make sure he doesn't do anything really dangerous. And we try to reinforce good behavior with him. So, um, but when he wants something... Uh, he will do almost anything and everything and, and also becomes a little aggressive to get what he wants. Um, this he's shown us in the past six years. So <clears throat> real quick, when I was in the room, they left. My uh, youngest daughter was here with me. I had to use the restroom. I got up. My bathroom is actually inside my bedroom right next to me. I went to use the restroom and as I used it, it wasn't even maybe... I would say probably five or six minutes that I was on the toilet and I went and I got up, sat right back down here. My six year old was still at, um, you know, sitting down. She has like one of those little yellow chairs um, and she was sitting down playing on her tablet. And I had noticed that when I went to the bathroom, I didn't have a yellow chair next to me. Let me give you an example. Please excuse my mess because of my ADHD. I do collect a lot of things, but I have um, very much organized on my messes. So that's just the way that I do it. But uh, basically, this is my shelving. You can see it's a metal shelving. It goes all the way to the floor. It says one, two, and then, th um, sorry, it's down there. One, two, and then this is three. My son is really small. Like, he struggles to get onto my bed. This is my bed. He struggles to get onto my bed. Um, so he's about the height of where the second shelf is at. He's really, really short to the ground. He's about that big. He went ahead and he placed a, one of... He, we have two chairs for um, each one of my twins. 
um, and it's basically those elementary school little yellow chairs with the metal framing. If you were back in the days, let's say in the 90s or 2000s, 80s, um, you know, this is just a general school chair for elementary school kids. Um, we so happen to have two of them, one for each one of the kids. It was given to us by one of their therapists from school. So he went ahead and actually took the chair, placed it there, proceeded to climb on top of it, got high enough to reach the third shelf. But because where I placed my lighter was so far deep into my shelf that he knocked over almost everything on top of the shelf. I found everything on the ground, but couldn't notice it at first because I actually, we moved it, but in this little corner here, I have a stand-up AC. I'm going to pause to show you because we did move it out of this place to get it away from the shelves. See, this is a stand-up AC and it connects to the window. We moved it to the opposite side because there are no shelving in this area.